What's up, Douglas? It's Trent, aka a trademark here. Someone requested me to play Vader, and I have my play packs up for this account, so I'm gonna play Vader on my main account. And I am not good at Vader at all. So, take this play with a grain of salt. But um, typically, Vader is played similar to like a Callus style. Uh. couple advantages of Vader he has he has Afra who has a um, stun as well as uh, he has usually you'll run a stun in your deck so you have a double stun and then you obviously have your force pull and uh, so the idea is to try and get a good pull try and kill the enemy leader and then try and push in on uh, with your ATST and bladesman while he's down while they're down uh, that's typically the idea I almost killed him there. Too bad. So we kind of traded there. Um, I honestly shouldn't have gone like all crazy out right there but uh it is what it is so now this time what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna slow play my do back on this lane since it's low and um uh oh someone's sad up there might have to cut this video short So he's got a tank there. So. game um <clears throat> pretty awkward game <laughs> unfortunately the those early so so a couple things about vader i mean if you die if you go all in and you start tanking turret the advantage is that upon death you're gonna heal your uh, you know his his passive is to heal units by 12% and that also happens if you kill an enemy leader so you can actually heal your ATST for 24% health which is a ton obviously when you consider how much health the ATST has um, and so you know that 
that one push, I honestly should have, if I would have gotten the kill plus died, I would have healed my ATST for two, and I probably would have taken turret on that very first one. Um, <coughs> that's just my fault for not knowing kind of the damage limits of uh, the leader. turret right there um you honestly you just you can't do that if you're Cassian you just you can't play like this against a Vader because if you come anywhere near Vader as Cassian you're just gonna get wrecked uh, So now I'm. Oh, never mind. He has Gig Ran. I might get that turret too. <laughs> now, in a in an evenly card in an even card level game right there, I would have only taken the first, or I would have probably would have only taken like 50% health or maybe 75% health on the turret. It's just like the way he's playing right now is just not smart against Vader because I can just keep doing this, and keep doing this. And keep, you know. Uh, except for when you leave a Gigran open just to do whatever they want, then that is obviously not good. But, uh... <laughs> now he's starting to realize that he can't just run up. Do whatever he wants. Let me see, see if I can show a better example of, um... So yeah, usually the combo is something like this. If, if you walk up and you're able to land either your manual stun or your Afra stun, you're gonna pull, start attack, attack, and then they're gonna come out of stun, then you re-stun for the double stun, and then attack, attack, and they're probably dead. What, buddy? What is it? Oh. Is it is it old? No, I just when I came down the first time there's no then the next time. I would throw that away. What? Throw it away. Or I mean I don't know where you I found this found that. on my bed. Oh go ahead. I'll put that on. Daddy I kinda dropped my do one before. No. I don't know. I think I, I put them up somewhere. Legend probably moved them. And I got off the list. But I got seven of them. I gave some to Jack. So. So you don't always have to obviously push with your uh, with your ATST. Sometimes it's better, like right then, to just. I'm gonna wait for him to run. Then I'm gonna force push. 
I'm going to kill him. I can't really do anything here, so I'm just going to go up and steal his health and then back up. <coughs> So next time if he does the same kind of move where he plays aggressive, um, I'm just going to lay the ATST up a little bit right near his, right near his base. Ooh, I'm not sure what, how that did kill him. Now I'm gonna play the, the sand trooper right there to try and kill off those guys. Got that down. So now if he kills me, it's a really big mistake because now I might see my ATST just healed there. So that was a big mistake by him. Him killing me right there actually helped me because I got the extra 12% damage on that. Some decent Vader play. One more game. One more game, that'll be it for this Vader Vader gameplay. Um is there something I'm missing. So keep in mind when you know the advantages of when to kill a leader or, or uh kill yourself, suicide. Um And usually, Vader's will also run uh, some like some counter push preventers because if you're gonna suicide, you want to have something like a probe droid or a do back behind you so that it can prevent uh, your counter. Now, right now, I'm using a deck that doesn't have any engineer prevention, so I kind of have to go all in. But you could switch out like sand trooper or probe droid for like a a tie fighter, and that would be better prevention against you know something like that uh, or against engineers I mean a tank coming on the right a bunch of units coming on the left I'm mostly just gonna wanna clear these units and then I'm gonna come back to deal with this guy right here. And then actually since he's over there I'm gonna just push in right now. So I'm gonna stun him and then hopefully I die and he dies as well, that will help my units right there. That is gonna be a problem. I'm gonna have to jump over and try and pull it over, pull it through as soon as it so you notice how I just killed that. You might not have seen that, but basically, the dis the huge disadvantage of using um, G and K is if you interrupt its de detonation cycle, like I just did, it actually uh, it actually cancels it. So, you can stun it, or you can do anything right at that moment where it's about to, uh, see, watch, I'll, I'll show you again. I'm going to stun it right when it starts to detonate, and it, it, it doesn't ever blow up. It's kind of, a kind of stupid, kind of broken, not really sure why it does that. I'm going to send my bladesman up there with, uh, my other, my afro, see what they, kind of damage they can do on that. I 
I'm just gonna tank this again, same deal. Oh, he has a Y wing, unfortunately. I was able to stun him before I died and uh, take out his tower too. So. So that's it for the Vader gameplay. Um, also showed you guys how to deal with TNK. Nice thing about running this type of Vader, there are a few Vaders that will run light vehicle. Nice thing about running ATST Vader is that you don't have to worry about like Luke, Kenobi, light vehicles, and you get the heal off the ATST. So. Um, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna try probably record a different video for this next play pack because I don't want to play Vader anymore. I'm not good with Vader. So, anyways, guys, Mala Pito, thanks for watching. Peace, I'm out of here.